Fast motorcycle drag racing fans, sit back and relax because this Turbo GS and many other wild machines are ready to go in the fastest index category in all of motorcycle drag racing known as Top Gas. We've got 18 of the best in the Midwest as we head to St. Louis and Worldwide Technology Park, formerly Gateway International Raceway, for the NHDRO Ken Schwartz Motorcycle Madness Finals. We want to thank Ken Schwartz. He's also a competitor in this class. We're going to see him and his amazing Reasonable Doubt Purple Suzuki coming up. We're also going to talk about street bikes fast enough to invade Top Gas. Let's meet the players. Hey, we see Top Gas is not just for the guys. We got one of the toughest female racers in the country. How you doing, young lady? I'm good. Introduce yourself to the camera. I'm Heather Wagner. How many years have you been racing? Top Gas, this will be my fifth year. Yeah. What's the key to winning? Consistency. Good luck. She's tough. She's been racing many years, new mother. Vice President at a bank. We are ready to get this top gas party started. Mr. Ken Schwartz, thank you so much for sponsoring this event. Absolutely. Jeff. What can we expect out of this crazy 820 high speed racing? Nothing but excitement. Top gas is, is the most competitive class in drag bike racing, has been for over 30 years. It's a ball. A bunch of great competitors. We have a wonderful time here. How do you feel about your chances? Oh, who knows, right? I never know what I'm going to do. I got a guy who's never raced top gas before, so he's going to win, right? That's how it goes. <laughs> Good luck to you. Thank you. Man, Ken is always tough. If you ever need any legal advice, look him up. Kenny Schwartz. Ken Schwartz out of St. Louis. Talented lawyer. Everybody told me what a bad idea it was. Same, same engine, 14 years now. You like the Hayabusa power, power plant? I like how cheap it is. <laughs> It lives. Easy to fix, right? It lives. It doesn't break. I broke one set of cases in 14 years. You used to have to put a lot of money into the KZ to make it go that quick, right? And we were racing on parts we'd have threw away a few years earlier. And you just got to do what you got to do. But this thing makes it a lot easier. Now that I'm old, and <laughs> I'm definitely old now. It just makes it a lot easier to do. You're still getting it done. Good luck. Dave Page, a longtime veteran, moved away from the GSKZ platform to the new Suzuki Hayabusa and loves it, as he said. Gen loves 1? Yep. Gen 1, loves the reliability, but plenty of competitors still with the GS and KZ. How you doing? Like Heather Wagner Baldy. There's her lovely daughter. As I said, she's got a, a new I one as well. For you. Good luck. You think mom's going to win it all? Yeah. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to get this party started. Here we go. Four tenths pro tree, quarter mile class, 820 the index, big speeds, cut a good light, get out on your opponent, and don't go under 820. That's the name of the game. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, first pair. Here comes Heather Wagner Baldy. She will take on Dave Page. What a tough draw in round number one. Dave out of Cincinnati. He's got his wife, Rhonda, with him crewing. Heather out of St. Louis, dedicating this one to her new baby, Remy. I'm sure we'll see her at the motorcycle drag races real, real soon. Here we go. Oh, side by side, Baldy treat him. 020 to a 101. Top end, female power. 824, she's going on. Here comes one of the toughest motorcycle drag racers in the country. Big, bad Dustin Lee. And yes, guys, no wheelie bar and a street tire. This has been a topic of controversy and debate in the class. Some of the old school top gas racers do not like the street bikes coming in. He's taking on Mike Wagner out of St. Louis. The ultra tough iron worker gets the win because Lee goes red. Negative 032. We never see Lee go red. Wagner goes to the next round. Big congrats to him. And here comes everybody's favorite litigator, the attorney himself, the Turbo Man, Fast Kenny Schwartz. Kenny, one of the few to run a turbo in top gas, but he has found remarkable consistency with his bike. Kenny returning from a devastating accident last year. He thought that he may retire, he may walk away from the sport, but the toughness of Ken Schwartz and the resolve and the love he has for motorcycle drag racing brought him back. He also sponsored this hometown event. He 
because he said all these racers they're my people and i'm going to be there for him anytime motorcycle what? drag racing comes to st louis gail stewart alongside him oh ken turns on the red one negative 007 wow some surprising red lights here in round number one kenny schwartz on the trailer dale stewart goes to the next round Oh, and if you love old school Z1900 slash KZs, this has to be one of your favorite bikes near lane. This is the always tough Thomas Turtle Cole. Comes out of the Tom Clemmy camp. This man works as a machinist for the Army Corps of Engineers. Let's watch alongside the always tough Joe Deck. Joe Deck goes 042. The KZ goes double 03, but suffers problems. Oh no. Cole doing the right thing and getting off to the side of the racetrack. I don't know what happened there, but he had a double 03 and unfortunately his day is over. Drag racing so unforgiving. That brings up our next pair. Looks like we're gonna be on hold here for a second. You think you got this round? Yeah, right here. Well, good luck. <laughs> Still on hold as we get Turtle off the racetrack. Make sure all the lanes are clean. Safety number one. Looks like we're gonna back off this pair and let them cool down because it was such a lengthy delay. But we'll continue on. I hope you guys are enjoying the longer videos. Let me know in the comments. Do you like this full race coverage? We're just getting started here. NHDRO Motorcycle Badness Finals. Take a look at this old school Kawasaki KZ. And here is the man known as Daddio, Michael Daddio out of Team DME from Chi-Town, Chicago, Illinois. Heath McQuinn out of the Cincinnati area. He just had spinal surgery this spring and he hopped back on. He is certainly a great old school, big tire bar bike racer as he gets set to take on another one of the street bikes. Again, guys, what do you think about this? Let me know, the old school top gas guys do not like it. Traditionally, this was a bar and slick class. These new street bikes are just so fast. They can run 820 with ease and they can do it with consistency. Who will win this one? Top end of the racetrack. Win Lake coming on. Daddy-o, give it to the no bar bike. Coming back for round number two. Speaking of no bar bikes, look at the wheelbase on this one. It's not even as long because the rider is the man they call the goat. Jeremy Teasley. Uh-oh, looks like Jeremy may have a nitrous leak. His father, Crow Teasley, Trying to fix the problem as Teasley will take on Michael Hall here in opening eliminations. Michael Hall out of Cincinnati runs the Dave Page horsepower. I do believe Teasley has his problem fixed. Heating up the nitrous bottle now. Guys, if you want to check it out on this channel, Teasley is the world record holder in Pro Street, Real Street, also at this event on a video that you can watch on the Cycle Drag YouTube channel. Teasley broke the world record for a Kawasaki Z125 in the eighth mile. He's got it all. More than 20 championships to his credit. Let's see what Teasley can do. Oh, 036, all the problems. That nitrous may not have been on after all. Hall is going to steal one here. He's ahead by a mile. Oh no, Hall breaks out. He gives Teasley a gift. Teasley wins one on his reputation. Oh my goodness. Hall's going to be sick. He goes 816. 820 breaks out. That brings up the national champion, John Spooky Markham. Oh no, problems now for the national champion. Could the national champion be on the trailer? Yes, indeed. David Thompson takes him out. 842 on an 820 on a whole shot. Markham has mechanical problems and could not run the number. Here comes Rashad Rowe now. He will take on the man out of Indianapolis, Indiana, Donnie Emerson. He ran his own auto repair business for a long, long time. Now works for an RV shop. 
Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Final pair before we get into round number two. Oh, and a red light start for row left-hand lane. Emerson will advance to round number two. Some remarkable upsets there. Are the ladies of the NHDRO having a good time? Absolutely. How about this guy? I got something for you, buddy. There you go. One, two. What's up, everybody? You guys made the video. 460 class, we're number one. Everybody having a good time at the NHDRO. There's Mr. Tom Luke, one of the tough racers out of the Midwest area. So many tough bracket racers that we got to meet here at the NHDRO series. Make sure you look them up. Attend one of these races if you can. There's Janie Palm and Willis Racing. They're always tough to beat. A lot of stretch Suzuki Hayabusa's and ZX14's. Motorcycle drag racing alive and well in the Midwest. As we get ready to get back into top gas, we'll have nine motorcycles coming back. Let's show you some sportsman action first though. As Tom Luke and the Kawasaki ZX14 gets set to take on this white Hayabusa far lane. And we're asking you in the comments, come on Kawasaki Suzuki fans, which one do you like better and why? The ZX14 or the Busa? Gotta love this rivalry. Boos has been out since 1999. Can you believe that? Of course, the CX-14, the successor of the Kawasaki CX-12. Two fast motorcycles. Oh, problems for the Suzuki Hayabusa. Tom Luke and his Kawasaki looks in control of this one. In the grudge category, yes indeed. Some more grudge action coming up. You know you're going to get a good show when it comes to no scoreboard racing. When you come to an NHDRO race, they'll set up some big races. This is the Hayabusa of Willis Racing near Shy. As we give the top gas competitors some cooldown time, we will bring you that full race in its entirety. So do not go anywhere. Do not leave this video. We're going to find out who's going to win it all from Worldwide Technology Raceway. Left hand lane gets there first. More fast grudge bikes coming up. The sweet sound of a Suzuki Hayabusa burnout. Another Suzuki versus Kawasaki matchup. This time the leader Kawi. Right hand lane, short wheelbase Hayabusa in the left hand lane. Who do you like? At the far end, left hand lane getting there first. Oh, check out my man, left hand lane. He was doing a great job on the short wheelbase Hayabusa, brand new to drag racing, trying to perfect that launch. At the far end, left hand lane gets there first. Couple more pairs in the grudge category, and then we will get right back into Top Gas round number two. I'd like to hear from you. What do you like better, class racing or grudge racing? If you're new to the sport wondering what the heck the difference is, well, in class racing, we have scoreboards on, we have dowlins or indexes, unless it's an out the back door heads up category. In these grudge classes, they turn the scoreboards off. And look at that young man. He's getting started the right way, huh? He's out there with his family having a great time. That's what we love to see. New blood coming into the sport. Fine young man helping to line up dad in his Kawasaki ZX-14.
That thing sounds strong. We got two of our strongest grudge bikes up next. Nice pass for Heinz on the Kawasaki ZX-14. Here comes another one of the big bad ZX-14s alongside the Suzuki Hayabusa. We're getting some good Kawasaki-Suzuki grudge matches, aren't we? Wind light coming on, right hand side. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the brawler Versus the Flash. Two wild motorcycles. Who do you like? Lots of nitrous. Here we go. Uh oh, problems for the Flash. Here comes the brawler. Can the brawler catch him? Top end of the racetrack. Wind light coming on left hand side gets there first. All right, I hope you enjoyed that session of grudge. Let me know your comments. Would you like me to cover more grudge in the future? Are you more of a class guy or a grudge guy? Let's figure it out. Let's get back into action though here at Worldwide Technology Raceway. As I said, we've got nine of the fastest and greatest, most talented top gas racers standing by in round number two. And finally, we'll figure out who's gonna make it to the next round. Unfortunately, it will not be Kenny Schwartz, the sponsor of this event, who suffered a very rare first round defeat. Let's see if we can catch up with the talented Kenny Schwartz. Kenny, very sorry about your first round luck. How deep was that red? It looked close. It was pretty close. It was a 007 red, but that's an L. Uh, that's an L, Jared. Not easy out here, huh? It's you tough. win last night and on the trailer first round. Can't rest on your laurels. It's tough, but we're having fun. Good job. I knew we parked too close together. And unfortunately, the good buddies are going to have to face off. That's the way drag racing goes sometimes. The best of friends have to face off. Joe Deck, far lane. Donnie Emerson, near lane. Deck out of Morning View, Kentucky. Emerson out of Indianapolis, Indiana. Oh, we are dead even off the line. We're bar to bar at the eighth mile mark. Down through the quarter mile. Who will it be? Winlight, give it to Joe Deck. 821 takes out an 816. Here comes the next pair. Dale Stewart up against Bruce Damwood. Dale Stewart out of Illinois. Bruce out of Iowa. Whole shot going to Stewart, an 047 beats out a 101, but can he get it done? Can he run the number down the top end? Win light left hand lane, 827 takes the win on a whole shot. A better reaction time gave him room to play. Remember, your reaction time is not tied to your ET. Oh, wait, are you kidding me? Father and daughter have to face off in round number two. It was bad enough that good buddies had to face off. Heather Wagner Baldy, left hand lane. Her dad, Mike Wagner, right hand lane. Oh, red light start for dad. Dad fouled out by a bunch. Negative 318, may have had a clutch malfunction. Heather was 013 on the tree. She takes the win. She's coming back for the next round. And who's pulling for the street bike? Who's pulling for the GOAT? Because here he comes, the 20-time champion, Jeremy Teasley. Looks like that nitrous problem is corrected. He'll be taking on David Thompson out of Seminville, Indiana. T. 
Beasley so tough. He's won in top gas before on that short Hayabusa. Teasley with an 073. Thompson out with an 029. Teasley could be vulnerable. Can Thompson get around him top end? Winlay, yes, 822. Takes out Teasley's 822. And guess who's got the buy out of Team DME? Here he is, guys, Michael Daddio on the stretched Hayabusa street bike. If you would have told racers 20 years ago there'd be top gas bikes without wheelie bars and street tires, they simply would not believe you. Daddio 091, top end of the racetrack. Daddio 816. We're set for round three. Wow. Five. Gentlemen, sorry to interrupt. I'm going to put you on the spot now. Who's going to win top gas? Teasley just went out. It's unbelievable. I'm going to go with Dale Stewart, the man who put me out. Who you like? Wagner, man. Heather Wagner. That's right. We just saw the Wagner family battle. Yeah, I'll be in trouble for saying that. Heather Wagner. Heather's going to win. Smart man. Well, let's get right into action, guys. Round number three. Five motorcycles left in competition. She gone. And that, of course, is Heather Wagner. And she gets set to take on Joe Deck. Heather coming off that 013 ball. Can she do it again? Heather 073. Deck goes 018. Deck decked her. Killer reaction time. Top end of the racetrack. That light will lead him to victory. 820 with a one. Nearly a perfect package for deck. 018, 1,000th off the dial in. Nearly unbeatable. And here comes Michael Daddio alongside Dale Stewart. Can the snowbar bike make it another round? Dale Stewart defeated Kenny Schwartz in the opening round. Who are you pulling for here, guys? Do you like the Willie Bar slick bikes? Or do you like the, the brave, tenacious, no bar street tire racers? Oh, both racers were late. Daddy O was late with a 217. Stewart was late with a 160. Odd for both. Top end of the racetrack. Oh, boom. Daddio goes dead on 820 with a six. Daddio coming back for the semis. Wow. And now, ladies and gentlemen, our Byron. David Thompson. He's just going to break the beam. That's one of the luxuries. Dave, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. With this tough field, how good does it feel to break that beam and know you're saving it and coming right back for the next round? It's perfect, man. It's perfect. How are the conditions? You think you can stay consistent for the next round? Oh, we're hoping so. Good luck to you. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. What an advantage, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we got three bikes coming back. Let's see what else is going on this NHDRO race. A little bit of pro street action for you. Dave Frederick up alongside Team Quick Time. Two bad high boosters. Oh, Winlight coming on. Gabe Frederick. 688, 205 miles an hour, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta love those machines. Well, let's get ready. We got three bikes coming back for top gas. Let's see who we can find here in the lanes. Still some hot and heavy sportsman action. Thank you for the love. Man. If you have not yet received your cycle drag decal, make sure you see me at the track. They are good luck. And make sure you're subscribed to Cycle Drag on YouTube. That is the big thing. Also, make sure you check in. Let us know where you're watching from. Hey, look at that. He's watching right now. What's up, What's up baby? He loves it. You can watch on your smartphone, your TV. Anybody out there watching on a TV? Let us know. Do you have YouTube TV? Facebook TV? Simply hooked up with a Roku or another device, a smart TV? Let us know. 
I gotta believe the vast majority of you watch these on your smartphones or your tablets. All right, ladies and gentlemen, look who has the buy. Again, another buy from Michael Daddio. Out of Chicago, Illinois, the Team DME Hayabusa is going to the final. Second buy of the race for Daddio. He was the lucky ducky here. Let's see how close to 820 Daddio can come. Nice 098 light drifts to the left. Still goes 826, 167. He'll bring it back for the final where he will face Joe Deck, David Thompson. Nice sticker, nice shirt. <laughs> you like Mike Mullaney? That's my man. He's Nobody the man. Like yeah, shout out to Mike Mullaney, the head mechanic for Andrew Hines on the NHRA Pro Stock Motorcycle Tour. Pro Speaking of Joe Deck, final, final really here in Pro ET. Deck's got a chance to double every racer dream. 16 the Dowling left lane, 887 right hand lane. So getting back to that top gas semifinal though, Thompson ironically had mechanical problems after only breaking the beam. So Joe Deck advances to the final and he's in the final here in Pro ET. We got all finals coming up. This is Deck taking on Bill Hamuth out of Hampshire, Illinois. Right hand lane, two very tough racers. All finals coming up, ladies and gentlemen. Stick with us from here on out. Make sure you're subscribed to Cycle Drag. I hope you like the longer videos. This is to give you a, a taste of the event as if you were there. As I said before, so many racers dream about doubling, winning two events in one day. It's so hard to do. It's so hard to win one event. So hard to win one round. We got an 017 to an 018. Starting line advantage to Deck. Top end of the racetrack. Deck wins it. He wins the Pro ET final. 818 on an 816. Tell me about that one. One more. Hey, this is Joe. One jo more to go. One more. Top game. This is Joe Deck's year, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is. Congratulations. Wow. How about it? Impressive. What do we got coming up here? Some grudge bikes coming up, but Joe Deck has been unstoppable. Can he win again in top gas? What's or will it be up? the street bike of Michael Daddio? The no willy bar street tire. DME Hayabusa of Michael Daddio. Who will it be? We got a couple grudge bikes coming up right now. We also got finals coming up. Joe's just a bad man. Joe Deck. The baddest man here, I'm telling you. It's his year, isn't it? It is. Two Top Gas Championships and now a Pro ET win again. Unbelievable. Bad as it gets. I like it. There's Brian Welch of the NHDRO. Sun peeking out. Turned out to be a great day for motorcycle drag racing. A lot going on with the NHDRO next year, too, in 2020. Make sure you check things out. They will be having a $30,000 race. Can you believe that? They also will be heading to legendary Darlington Dragway down in South Carolina, where they will do a co event with a grudge racing organization. As you can tell, from Brian Welch being right up there on the line. He loves his grudge racing. Oh, Big Willie out of the ZX-14. And the left lane gets there first. This man's happy. It's over. It's all about wiggle racing. It's the takeover. Okay? You hear me? Wiggle racing, Cooney Palmer, MSP. Yeah. NHDRO 2019 and forever till I DIE. Yeah. Is he pumped up or what? You gotta love the smack talk we hear sometimes in some grudge racing. Yeah, 
Looks like there may be some cheeseburgers wagered on that one. And we got this fine gentleman. Still doing a great job improving constantly. In fact, in the lanes, we watched the Brock Davidson tutorial video on drag racing tips, which you can watch on this channel as well. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now set for our Marcus McBain M2 Shocks Crazy Comp Final. The class very similar to Top Gas, just a few ticks slower. 889 is the index. This is the final round. Ron Arnold, they call him Jiu Jitsu. Beautiful Suzuki Hayabusa. He gets set to take on the old school Kawasaki KZ of Charles Pete Hubbard. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Who do you like, new school or old school? Will it be the Busa? Will it be the Kawasaki? Two of the best. There was a huge field here in Crazy Comp. We've whittled it down to two. The Busa versus the KZ. Big hole shot, Ron Arnold. Will that lead him to victory? 030? Yes, indeed. 030. 896. Takes out a 110, 897. Oh, two of the best in the country are set to battle it out in our Street ET final. Dustin Lee, right hand lane. Jeremy Teasley, near lane. Arguably the two best no bar bracket racers in the country right now. Looks like the Dallin may be wrong for Lee. This one's gonna be a show. Teasley goes red. The goat fouls out. Negative 006. 006 on the red side. Dustin Lee takes the win. What a race. Who, who we got here? Final round. Uh, we'll go with Bond. Why not? What do you, you think? Go, I'm going on the other side. Oh. You can go with Bonds. I'm going on the other side. So can we, can we put a cheeseburger on it or oh, something? Two, oh, two cheeseburgers. Two cheeseburgers. Here we go. Everybody taking their pick, whether it be 460 or Top Gas here. Now, ladies and gentlemen, your Top Gas final. Thank you for watching all the way through this video. If you've made it this far, leave me a comment. Do you like the longer videos? Michael Daddio out of Chicago, Illinois. On that DME, Suzuki Hayabusa no bar bike versus Joe Deck, who has already won in Pro ET. Deck out of Morning View, Kentucky. This is your final round from the Ken Schwartz NHDRO Motorcycle Madness Finals. Top gas time. Big hole shot, Joe Deck. 028 to an 088. Can daddy -O get around him? Top end of the racetrack. Deck doubles. 826 on an 820. Beats him on a whole shot. Big congratulations. Deck gets the win, the championship. He's going home with some money from St. Louis. We're going to talk to Deck in just a little bit. A few Pro Street shakedown runs, and it was time to close this party down. What a great event it was. This was Cycle Drag's first ever NHDRO race. So many great racers out in the Midwest. I had not been to Gateway since AMA Pro Star ran here. 
back in 2000 and I think it was 2003. That's how long it's been. Great facility, great market, and great group of talented motorcycle drag racers. I do believe the man of the hour, the man of the power, too sweet to be sour, Joe Deck, double winner, is in the winner circle. $2,700 and a double, an MPS Pro ET, hardcore top gas. Ladies and gentlemen, I think last year it may have been the year of Spooky Markham. This year may be the year of Joe Deck. Championships as well, my friend. How you feeling about what was a remarkable weekend? I'm feeling ecstatic right now. And I couldn't have done it without Donnie. Me and Donnie has been racing probably 25 years. And we he, I put him out second round and he hung around here and stayed and helped me. And But that's what, that's what had good to, had friends to. and people and, and awesome racers do, man. We help each other that's out. That's right. There's so many tough racers here. Spooky, as I mentioned, Dustin Lee, Teasley, all these guys. The wind lights were just going in your favor. What do you think it is about you this year? You just have the magic. You got the consistency. What do you got on your side? I got God on my side. Number That's one. Right. There you go. First and, I, and, and, I, and I say a prayer. My daughter tells me every time we, we go through the rules when I go racing. And number one is praise the Lord. And all the glory and that's goes what we to God. Do. And it, if it wasn't him, I couldn't do none of this. So, but all my friends, my family, my wife, man, she's just, she backs me 100% on this stuff here. And all these guys, my family, my racing family out here, they're, they're like, if you need something, go over there and ask them. They'll give you whatever they got. I had a guy, I broke a master cylinder last weekend, and a guy rolls up, and it's off of a 78 Honda Matic. He rolls up there, knocks the mirror off of it, takes it off and puts it on my bike, and he said, there you go, give it back to me when you see me. And that's what racers do for yep. each other. And that's what makes NHDRO and all racing awesome. What great camaraderie. Yeah. What was your toughest race of the day in Top Gas? Uh, they were all tough. Yeah, I saw some uh, close second ones. Round. Second round. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a tough one. How many years have you been racing? I started out in 1995. Whew. So, is this the best year of your career? I know you've had some good ones. I won a I won an NHRA Division Three in 2006. That was a really good year. Um, since I've been running NHDRO, I've wanted a Top Gas Championship. I finally got it. So I say, yeah, maybe this might be my best year. How many championships total this year? Uh, just the Top Gas Championship. You got the I-65 too, right? Oh, yeah. yeah right? How could you forget, right? Thanks, Jack. And Top Gas? And Top Gas, yeah. So yeah. You, you won two Top Gas Championships. That's very impressive. Yeah. Only thing missing would be, a, I guess, a Man Cup World Finals victory, huh? Well, yeah. I did really good there last year, but unfortunately, I'm having surgery on Tuesday. Oh, I'm so sorry. This, what? this is my... This going is, out with a bang. Yeah, this, yeah, I'm going out with a bang now. I, I hope it's nothing serious. I got a, just got a hernia surgery. So oh, very I'm sorry. We wish you a speedy recovery on that one. Well, I think these these you can tell yourself when you wake up, you can stare at these big checks. They'll help you get through the off season and help you recover. Congratulations. Who you want to thank? I want to thank you, Jack, for being out here and, and putting this out to the people. Let, let them see what great time we have at NHDRO. I want to thank God. I want to thank my wife. I want to thank NHDRO for doing what they do. They they stick their neck out and, and put this up. I want to thank MPS for, for sponsoring uh, Pro ET. And I want to thank uh, Larry Phillips at Hardcore for sponsoring uh, Top Gas and all the other sponsors out there. Kenneth R. Schwartz. Schwartz is an awesome guy. He is. He, he said, I'm going to take care of this. this. is my hometown. I'm going to take care of this yes. track for this race. So thank you, Kenny Schwartz. I appreciate the kind words. Well deserved. Here we go. We got some stickers for you. You'll be on Cycle Drag YouTube and CycleDrag.com Facebook. We love showcasing the greatest riders in the world. And I'm telling you, I think this is this is your year. Arguably, I don't know anybody's having a better year. All right. There Thanks. ain't a jabroni out there that can beat Joe Dick. How about it? Congratulations. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, a lot of racers will tell you when it's your day, it's your day. And on this particular afternoon, Joe Deck was simply unbeatable from Worldwide Technology Park in Madison, Illinois, right outside of St. Louis, Missouri, at the NHDRO Ken Schwartz Motorcycle Madness Finals. We had such a great time. Can't wait to go back to this event next year. Plus, we've got a whole bunch of other races on the schedule. As I said, make sure you're locked in. We want to thank Kenny Schwartz for stepping up and sponsoring this race. Also, do please make sure that you are subscribed to Cycle Drag. Bring some friends if you can, no matter what kind of bike they like. They may like Jeremy Teasley's Z25. 
He set a record on that machine. As I said, when you're done watching this video, you can go check out that video on the Cycle Drag YouTube page. See me at a race. We're going to get you hooked up with decals. And we want to thank all of the great competitors in the No Hating Drag Racing Organization. You got to love Tom Clemmy and his old school Z1900. There was also a KZ named The Rooster. Make sure you check out the Cycle Drag YouTube channel for The Rooster setting up a big grudge race with a Suzuki Hayabusa. That one is a must see. And how about John Spooky Markham? A tough weekend for him. That just shows you how tough this sport is. He wins the national championship last year, but struggles in this event. Dustin Lee came away with a win. And if Dustin Lee doesn't win at least one of his classes, it's a disappointment for him because he is so dominant and so tough. We've seen Dustin double, even triple on occasion. How about that? Worldwide Technology Raceway, a beautiful, beautiful facility. Have you ever been here? If you have, make sure you let me know. We want to appreciate all the fans who ran those CycleDrag.com decals and made it a truly special and memorable event. We're asking you, where are you watching from? Please check in with that information. Tom Luke is the man. Thank you so much to him and all of the St. Louis fans. We saw plenty of Cardinals swag out there in St. Louis country. And make sure, if you can, if there's any way possible, if you can join us in Valdosta, Georgia, November 21st through the 24th, it is the Man Cup World Finals. It will be a huge blowout. It is always the biggest motorcycle drag race of the year. There are so many entries. It is a struggle to get this race completed and done on Sunday night. It's something that they most always do. We'll look forward to seeing you there if you're in the area. I know a lot of you want to know what races will we be at. It's been a hectic year here on Cycle Drag. Very enjoyable. We've been to Australia, Willowbank. We've been to England. We've been to Santa Pod. We've been to Maryland International Raceway, South Georgia Motorsports Park, Darlington, Fontana, California. We've been all over. But this trip to Worldwide Technology Park in St. Louis, Missouri was certainly special. It's great to be reunited with a lot of old friends and a lot of bad, and I mean bad to the bone, tough racers and supportive friends and family. Congratulations again to Joe Deck. My goodness, two wins, a championship against the likes of Tom Clemmie and crew. You are truly a bad, bad man, Joe Deck, and that is a bad motorcycle there. We're going to do some more features on the Kawasaki KZs. If you love the old school four-cylinder Japanese muscle bikes, this is your channel as well. And how about a shout out to this young man. Gotta love it to see the youth involved. That's what we like to see, guys. Again, thanks so much. Leave us your feedback, your comments, where you're watching from. Bring some friends and subscribe to Cycle Drag on YouTube. Thanks a lot.